So we're going to start by marking off where we need the zipper to go. Um, I just used one of the zipper FX kits from Walmart and then I'm just using just face paint crown and just marking where I need it to go because then what we're going to do is grab the uh, glue that comes with the kit. We're going to go ahead and line on our face with the glue where the zipper is going to go. Then I also took the glue and turned the zipper over and just saturated the zipper with the glue because that sucker needed to stay on. Right, I'm just going to put it right on the face where I had marked off. Now, throughout the uh, makeup time, you'll see where the zipper, I keep um, pressing on it. The glue takes a little bit to dry, uh, but, by, but when that glue sets, that zipper does not move. It'll stay on throughout your whole Halloween party. There we go. You can go ahead and tuck it underneath the chin. Then also, if you see the little tips at the end, I go ahead and cut those off. I'm going to use the Maybelline um, strobing liquid, and I got this in the medium dark because I really wanted this look to have that glow um, all over the face because it's got to compete with all that glitter. So I went ahead and rubbed this all in. I'm going to use this as a primer. Then I'm also going to use the Porefessional by Benefit primer. And I'm going to put more on the normal because I really wanted to give it that flawless look. Yep, pushing it down right along the nose. Then I'm going to go with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and put this everywhere. Now this is really where you want to use the Beauty Blender because we're going to have to get right up next to the um, zipper and a brush just wouldn't do the same. So even if you use the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques uh, Blender, either one would be fine. There's Eva. She came to help me out while I was doing my makeup. And she loved the look, by the way. She said it was awesome. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and just blend that all in, get right up along the zipper. And I'm going to do the Anastasia Brow Definer uh, for my brows. And as you'll see in a second, I wanted them to be more defined and a little bit sharper than normal just because, again, there's nothing natural about this look. And I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because we really want that flawless look fuller coverage for this. Use a beauty blender to just buff that all in. And then I use the uh, Kat Von D. Oh, sorry, jumped ahead of myself. I use the NYX eyeshadow primer. Um, I know that I use a concealer, but I wanted a little bit more hold for the red because red is a really hard color to keep all day long. Now I'm going to use the Kat Von D shade and light um, color lyric just to go ahead and brighten that under eye and set it. I'm going to use the Morphe Boss Mood palette. This palette is so gorgeous. They did an amazing job. I think it's one of their best palettes yet. The colors are so blendable. I went in with a light brown color in the crease and then I went in with a little bit darker brown. Just go ahead and give it some depth. I'm just starting in the crease on the outside and just working my way down the lid. Then I'm going to pick up this red, matte red color. I'm going to put that on because, again, the whole this whole look is all about the reds. So I put that over top of the brown so you can see where it gave it some depth instead of just going with, boom, red. Then I'm going to grab a sharper definer um, blending brush and grab that black and make this a smoky eye. Again, don't be afraid of smoky eye. It's going to look horrible to begin with, but just blend, blend, blend. Just keep that black to the outside. Don't pull it to the inside because you want the eye to look bigger. Then I'm going to grab a brush. Oh, a little more red. 
I'm going to grab a brush and I actually ended up not liking this brush. It was a little too big for what I needed and it wasn't grabbing enough of the um, color. But I'm grabbing that glitter red color that's in the palette right next to the matte red and putting it right on the eyelid. And I'm using the MAC Fix Plus spray to give it uh, more of a metallic -y look. And you just spray it directly on the brush and then go into the color. I'm just packing that all on the lid. Then I'm going to grab one of the blending brushes again and just blending it up so that it all just looks smooth. Then I'm going to grab a little pointed blending brush and go under the eye with that matte red color. Again, you're going to bring it down lower because we only have one eye to give that drama to. I want to really give it just a bold look. Then I'm going to grab that um, pointed blending brush again that I used for the black on top of the eye and just bring it down. You see how we connect it on the outside of the eye. Now I'm only bringing in halfway to the eye because I really want that red to still show up. Now I'm going to grab the top corner um, kind of vanilla color and this one was really pretty. I'm putting it right under the eyebrow and then I'm doing the inner eye highlight and I did a little bit more, brought it up and around onto the top eye than normal because I just again really wanted it to be bright and just really bold. Alright then I'm going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio uh, gel liner. This one's so nice. I like it better than most of the higher end brands. And I'm just going to go ahead and line the top lid all the way to the outside. Then we're going to do a winged liner with this. So I'm going to go ahead and reach around and pull the eyelid up so that it's flat so the uh, brush doesn't jump. And I'm just going to bring it into the middle of the eye and then just fill in the whole wing. I'm going to connect it a little bit on that outside corner and then we're going to go ahead and line the water under, sorry, under high water line with that gel liner and this stuff does not budge. I love using this gel liner for the water line. Okay, then I'm going to use the MAC bronzer or the Becca bronzer. Uh, do not be afraid of this. I use so much bronzer because this is really where you can see the look pull together. You really want a chiseled look for this because it's got to be able to stand out compared to all that glitter. Then I went ahead and grabbed the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and just really chiseled this out. Put it right in that cheekbone, under the jawline, chisel everything out. And then also on the forehead, I want it on the outside. Again, look straight on wherever the darkness hits. That's where you want to shade out. Then I went ahead and, and um, contoured the nose as well because it's got to be able to stand up next to that uh, zipper right next to it. Okay, then I'm using the Dose of Colors Highlighter, Chasing the Sun, the Desi X Katie collection. And um, I took it where we normally put highlight, but then also did a lot more on the forehead just to make it bright, put it on the nose, tip of the nose, and all over the lips. Don't forget about this side. Um, on the, what is it, the right side? Yes, the right side. Don't forget about the right side. That one still needs to be taken care of as well. Okay, then I'm just going to use a uh, face painting kit that I got on Amazon. It was like $21. Um, and I'm just going to use the red color. I'm just going to fill in the area that we're going to put the glitter. You want to make sure to put the color of the glitter underneath because if you just go in straight with that glitter you're going to have your skin tone showing through even if it's a colored glitter. You want it to look a lot more bold by putting the same color as the glitter underneath of it so that it just all shines that color. Now this is a water-based face paint and so like you can see you're going to have to um, paint over it a little bit, let it dry, and then paint over it again to not have that kind of streaky look going on. But it was actually pretty quick to do. Man, this is where the look really comes together. 
right up into that hairline. I would strongly suggest wearing your hair down so that you don't see you know, everything right up into the hairline, but take it definitely as far up as you can go. All right, now we're, I'm gonna use the NYX glitter. And you can just get this at Ulta, and then I use the Too Faced glitter glue. This one worked really well. I started on the bottom half below the eyebrow, put the glitter glue on there first with my finger, and then went ahead and packed on the glitter. And I mean packed on. I think I weighed an extra pound this day just from all the glitter that was used. Um, I grabbed a brush to try to get in real close next to the zipper, and literally I just poured out the glitter into my hand and then just started grabbing it and packing it on there. Okay, then I grabbed the glitter glue again, again, and you can see I didn't use it sparingly. I wanted to keep all that glitter on there. And then poured some more on there and kept on packing. It was a beautiful color. It came out absolutely gorgeous, but definitely do not skimp on it. But the NYX glitters, they're inexpensive, so you're not going to feel bad about packing that glitter on there. And get it right up into the hairline. Okay, now I went in and I wanted to do kind of an ombre lip look. So I went ahead and used the NYX Liquid Suede uh, Black color, I believe it's called Alien. And I lined the lips with that Liquid Suede color, brought it in a little bit on the lip. What's nice about this one is it's not completely a liquid lip, so it'll still blend when I put the um, next lip color on there. It'll kind of all m melt together when I blend it with my finger. Then I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, their holiday collection color, Phantom. I used this in my last video, and it is such a beautiful color, and I'm such a huge fan of it. It is gorgeous. But when I went ahead and did um, put the color on, I realized that it was a little too dark of a lip for what I wanted and how bright the glitter was. And so then I just went ahead and grabbed some uh, extra glitter that I had and put it in my hand and just packed it on to the lip before the lip set. And the Anastasia color is a liquid lip. So it goes on and it stays. So I quick grabbed the glitter, packed it on there, and then let it dry, and that stuff did not move. All right, and then I used the House of Lashes Iconic. Now obviously you only need one lash. So I went ahead and put that lash on, and then used the Laura Mercier tr uh, Translucent Powder Glow and chiseled that face out, let it bake. All right, and then while that's baking, I'd grab the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, set everything, and set it some more. And then there's the finished look. We're all ready to go. Have a great Halloween, guys. Love you.